Right, the night is dark and full of terrors, right? Uh, time for a new episode. There's a lot of changes coming. Hello, hello, and welcome back to our little megalopolis to be. Uh, it's actually quite close to the border, I don't like that part. But I'm looking forward to slowly considering expansion. Now, let's cover, I did play a couple of hours in between this episode and the previous one, so let's cover what we did. I finished some of the residential buildings, we are at the limit of our population. Oh, I just finished the building. Um, it's being filled already, so this is the newest building, uh, populated only by our, by our own people. So um, all the people from the that were living with their parents, I'm pretty sure some of them are. Uh, some of them are from the orphanage. Yeah, this is interesting. I don't know how this functions exactly. When when do people go away from their parents? So this one has basic education, says that it's a student or something. Uh, doesn't say like vocation or something. I understand that it he might go uh, Capri uh, Capriano Vasily Alexeyevich. Vasily is his name. Alexeyevich means son of Alex. Um, and Kaprianov is his last name. Interesting. Needs food, school time. Yeah, you can see here he has basic education, but he requires school time further. Uh, but he is 18 years old. If he identifies as he. But uh, no, all jokes aside, look at this as well. 19 years old still requires school time. I don't know if this is kind of like cementing his education to 1.0 or what is it, but how do. Oh, Putin. I had Putin here. Uh, here, Putin. Uh, Milomir Timofeyevich. Timofey was the father. Anyway. So, uh, I did not address the comments section uh, that much recently. Let, let's try to do it now. Um, this is the episode for Thursday. I'm recording this on Tuesday evening. So, I'm kind of catching up with what we're doing. Uh, but I will. Uh, I wanted to reply because I <laughs> did till uh, Tilumbus... Um, uh, just uh, gave us a couple of good comments, uh, uh, of course, as as the old Gala did as well. So let me show you what um, a couple of interesting things that um, uh, I, I plan to implement in the future, but we're going to cover it. Let's go with Till's comments first, just because they're the latest one there top of my head, but uh, I'll cover the other ones. It's a new it. Uh, Tolumbus says that he knew it. It was a small heating plant, but did not dare to tell. Please check the water wells quality next to the small heating plant. It was 93% before. Now, there's no heating plants left in the city. I removed them all off screen except this one, which is... Eh, yoink. Uh, let's cover this together. So, heating plants. The only heating plant we have is here and the one that I just destroyed. So there's no more backup, no heating I, I probably need an additional heating plant, but yeah, probably should go for it. By the way, I took a loan of a million rubles, but we're gonna cover that. Now, there was a heating plant around here. Was it like right next to here or here? I forgot, uh, or, or even south. Or, so this was the closest one, and I said in a comment, this was 400 meters from the i think it was decent distance from the actual water well uh, and it was 90 percent mad shortest would be 400 meters i think this is really good enough distance to go to offset this pollution now i'm gonna just talk about this heating plant for a few moments um the heating plant in the previous uh, uh previous series we built several of these they have extremely small um, pollution, uh, pollution, environmental pollution of one ton uh, per year, which is really, really, really low. So I did not have any problems with this previously. And I had up to six, eight, maybe ten of them in a city and they didn't cause any problems. I think it's kind of obvious that um, they did cause the problem this time, unless I just shut them off and 
at the same time resolve the other issue that was causing the problem but I don't think so um, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do for offsetting if this needs to be refurbished to the, the heating plant but for now everything is working we're up to five and a half thousand people uh, I found out that these I think these are Romanian buildings uh, I need to double check this but they are pain in the ass to build pain in the ass to build not even kidding so um it took me like half a year just to finish all the materials were delivered but half a year just because it has like five different stages like roofing and stuff it and no machinery which is like oh cool you have all these stages to build a building like freaking allow me freaking cranes because you're building a roof on the ninth floor that's a lot of work for people to carry all that crap upstairs so other buildings like this finished in within a month after all the materials were delivered which is kind of uh, uh, quite more realistic, I would say. Uh, off screen, I planned for our meat production, which uh, is another farm, another silo, another new everything, uh, which kind of needs to be here, to be honest. Uh, we need it. Uh, but this is kind of awkward. What did I do here? This needs to be connected. Why did I put field here? There's a big field over here. You know what? Let's let's remove this one to be on the safe side. And I'm gonna put a field. Um, let me do this. There we go. And I will put a field uh, ass to ass on this one. Uh, to this one. Uh, Yeah, I, I don't like that. There's a, there's some kind of a discrepancy with the fields. You can't put them kind of opposite to each other. I know these two fields are kind of interfering with each other. Uh, should have I done it? I don't know. I, I think I'm going to just leave it like it is. Like is. I'm going to see how it interacts. The loss of the field of the land is not that great, so I'm not worried about that. The rest of the roads here are finished, and I already have a field over here. Uh, what's the month? March. No, there's no way in hell we're going to finish this before, uh, before spring, summer, whatever, whatever. Let's go and build... Um, I think this needs to be connected. And then this needs to be connected. And this and this. Uh, this is going to be needed. I think I'm going to cut this short here. And I don't know what I'm going to build here. But uh, I think we might... I don't know if we're going to need something. We have fire department here. And I know if Copti is watching this, I think we are screwed. Because I still don't have helicopters here. And they're, I think they're, they would be great here. I think I'm gonna have to do it. I, my problem with the helicopters, the fire department helicopters, which is the, the, the only kind that it's kind of realistic, I would say, is uh, the way I built the fire stations here. We have a small fire station here that is in charge of protecting the initial setup that we had. Then we have the small city fire department, or it, it, it's not even small, it's big, but it was meant to be kind of small. Or can we build it? Can it be separate? Anyway, we'll check this out in a second. This is the second fire department. And the third one is here. The reason why I didn't put it in the city, I think it's kind of... Uh, you wouldn't put a helicopter pad outside like this, just in the, um, uh, in the city center, like here, you know. And, and they should be touching the building. And, um, yeah, maybe if I would remove this uh, footpath, but then we have this um, underground infrastructure as well that would be in the way. And this is the only place where I can actually place or put the um, the fire, the, the helicopter landing office. The second one is here, but it's kind of cluttered. I, I place this, I don't want to say unplanned, of course it was planned, but if I put it here, it's just, you know what, I can do it. Uh, I don't see the reason why I shouldn't do it, so... Why the hell not? Let's just let's just do it. Uh, I'm pretty sure that Copti is gonna laugh his ass off. Well, he's gonna be happy initially, but uh, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna run into some problems that he's aware that I am not. Uh, for example, the uh, that I'm gonna have to scrap the helicopter after some time, and uh, it's not gonna function well just because. 
Um, I need to have probably specialized scrapping facility for for helicopters. But yeah, anyway, let, let's see how it goes. I'm building here the... This is going to be named uh, Chemical Bistro. Uh, um, no, this is the uh, Chem Fert Bistro. Chemical Fertilizer Distribution Office. Uh, why am I building this? I'm getting a third farm already and uh, the the other two farms that I have are actually, they're consuming a lot of uh, fertilizer. I need a lot of fertilizer. This is March already, and you can see here that we are kind of running low. We're just slowly starting to, oh no, uh, actually it's fine. I want to say that the, these, these fields are not aligned properly. Medium, 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 medium. Okay, now they are. I think previously they weren't. Okay, they're aligned now, so I don't care. So, small fields first, and then bigger ones. Do we get fuel here? They have a lot of fuel. That's perfect. I don't know how my fuel distribution is coping. Anyway, anyway, uh, Tilumbus, Tilumbus, Tilumbus. Um, I said that we I had two water wells. One of them is close to the city that is processing the city water. I'm pretty sure that he was interested in that one. That was 93% and it's still 93%. Uh, and the second one I have is not pure. Uh, the water is not being purified. It's 92% and it's close to the chemical plant and other plants that we have. Unemployment is still 0%. It mostly, like, I had 3%, but even that's, like, I, I need to shovel more people into the city as much as possible. I'm just slowly building the infrastructure and the... Um, slowly building the infrastructure. Wow, this, this, this apartment building, when it's done, no more. I'm not going to be building these anymore just because they're pain in the ass to build. Um, right, slowly shove, uh, slowly building as population grows. Uh, Till actually replied something, now it's 27 minutes ago since I'm recording this, at least it says so here. Import people from the third world, did you uh, recognize they all have Slavic names, third world Slavic countries, which could it be? That's really interesting. Uh, Slavic countries are these that I want to say. So you have the uh, three Eastern Slavic uh, countries that would be Belarus, Ukraine and Russia. You have three Western Slavic countries that would be the uh, Western Slavic countries would be Poland, Slovakia and Czech Republic. In this time zone it would be Czechoslovakia and Poland. And uh, the southern Slavic countries, with, which were, uh, which was in the Soviet uh, sphere of influence, that would be Bulgaria, only Bulgaria. And then you have as many as those countries that were under Soviet influence. There's another six, six countries: Serbia, Mont uh, Serbia, Montenegro, uh, Macedonia, Bosnia, Croatia, and Slovenia, that were part of Yugoslavia, that are Slavic countries. And what Till is trying to imply there that uh, third world, that would be third world, doesn't mean undeveloped. That means unaligned. Third world means that it's not aligned with NATO or the Warsaw Pact. And the only Slavic country, the only one that was third world, would be Yugoslavia. And I'm aching, aching, aching to actually find out uh, if we can find... Let's go with this number four. I wanted to build more apartments um, uh, to import people and check their names if they have Slavic last names. You know what? I'm going to build this one as well. Let's go and put this one in operation. I will import uh, people from the third world. That would be here. You have these people that you can import. You can Im invite five immigrants, uh, experts, that means college educated from the Soviet bloc. You can uh, invite 10 immigrants from the Soviet bloc. That would be mixed education, which around 10 to 15% are college educated, by the way. If it's not only uneducated, but mixed. And then you have uh, the 10 immigrants from the third world. Uh, you would think that, um, that they would be from like African countries, Asian countries, but the third world also means Slavic countries. Now the misconception is that they should be uneducated because these ones that you in import 
would be uneducated and they have to go through educational system to be functional members of society. But what I'm interested here is to finding out what the last names of the people there are just to see if they have any connections with well, which part of the world they have connections. But you yeah, will see when these buildings are done. Okay. So, uh, what I was doing last couple of hours, that will be a year or so in the in the game. Um, this is the first time that we're going to be using mass fertilization for our fields uh, because uh, we are using only, not only, we're using everything we can, but uh, the solid fertilizer is extremely limited. Uh, we are making it ourselves from the bio waste, but 5,000 people is not enough of a city to do that. Now, I'm hoping that the, the, that's going to change with making these farms. And now that I said so, I can see that I didn't put a lot of uh, f a lot of space around here to actually accommodate containers. I'm pretty sure, well, we'll make it, we'll make it, the band's gonna make it, but um, I should have gone with uh, a little bit more thought into this. I mean, like, even the big farm, the, the big, um, the, the, the big containers are gonna fit here, so that's not gonna be a problem. Uh, I will try, I'll give it a go here even, I'm gonna try to squeeze it uh, uh, in in between the farms here and have the big, big containers connected to this, just because I'm not sure how much uh, manure we're gonna, or, or biological waste we're gonna get from this. This should give us, a, hopefully it's gonna give us a lot of manure that we're gonna then use for the fields. Okay, continuing on, we have Shotkey commenting from the Mod Monday. We're going to skip that one about the chimneys and the buildings. That's a really interesting topic next time. And then Old Gala commenting on the random pollution like that. I find it usually full of garbage containers. Yes, I noticed this as well. When the garbage containers get full, your know, people get sick. Uh, their age, I think, shortens, but also they cause outside pollution. Welcome Naples, Naples, Italy, they are kind of famous of <clears throat> trash on the streets because of the Mafia controlling the waste disposal industries and they are kind of protesting the governments and stuff, well, I'm, I'm, I think it's, a, I don't want to talk a, a bad about Mafia, so let's keep it. Um, no, and once it's empty, it takes a while for a dots to turn green, yeah, for the pollution to dissipate. Uh, but it might be the heating plant. I couldn't understand why you put the pollution monitor near the factories instead of covering the city in the first place. But the more coverage you have, the better it is. The other one to watch is the sewage discharge. Pollution spreads far and wide from, the, uh, from them. And it um, had to move one in the, my largest town because it was spreading so far, affecting the quality of some buildings to below 50% and people moved out uh, or expired. Yes, I had this in the uh, Novolescia in the, when I tried to play the new oldest map in the game, new let's play. Uh, the sewage amplified with the heating plant, uh, it's absolutely devastating for the environment and you can see here um, in, in uh, how far these red dots are going almost all the way to the city. Uh, we have a garbage dump, we have a, a heating plant and we have sewage outlet here. Now we're gonna just quickly cover the intake of water for this is only 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 for the <clears throat> concrete plant. This is the surface uh, water uh, outflow or in inflow well, probably would be better to say this is where we take the water, the surface water of the river and use it only for the concrete production. But the water quality here required is only 55%. Well, it can go below 55% and probably should watch for this. But uh, for now, uh, looks like it's still not there. So yeah, I, I need to be careful about this. Um, continuing on, uh, saying uh, from the few episodes ago, Deja Vu, Groundhog Day, uh, right, uh, yeah, I had an issue editing, I had, I still have, Tuesday, 2nd of April, I still have a cousin, uh, she's visiting a couple of friends, and I was a tour guide, or tourist guide, on Saturday and Sunday, around uh, Dublin, and later on Ireland, and the... 
uh, I, I messed up with the processing of the videos and I think I processed the same video twice which created a duplicate episode you can still find both duplicate episodes I think I didn't delete any of them but uh, it's just absolutely the same episode twice and I published it twice so I'm sorry about that guys it was just a lot, lot on my mind and uh, I did have prepared episodes but by the time I found out it was already uh, too late to publish it straight away, so I published that one next day, but I should have corrected everything, so it should be nice, uh, nice and cozy now. Uh, perfect, here we go. Pause for a cause. We'll see what Tilumbus has to say about this. We have immigrants from the third world. Boom, ten of them. Let's inspect the names. No, maybe Bulgarians, but they're not third world. They were in the Warsaw Pact. Uh, Fukin uh, Eric Stimurovic, okay, not really. Mukov Alexei Denisovic, that all sound like Eastern Slavic names. Uh, Pischalnikova, or Pish, yeah, should be like that. Again, not South Slavic. Uh, uh, Kanadova Ida Viktorovna, interesting. No, none of them. They, uh, they sound Gusarov. <laughs> Gusar is the pirate in the in the Balkans. Uh, Erix. Erix is actually quite common here. Snežana. Valentinova. But uh, Spanova. Uh, I think the similar like last names like this they have in Bulgaria out of Southern Slavic languages. I know that they are widespread elsewhere. But in Southern Slavic languages these, uh, these kind of yeah, no education. They all have to go through the educational system. So, yeah. And uh, is it held here low? Yeah. This is gonna be interesting. I mean, they're gonna recover extremely fast. This is not a problem. A couple of things I also started building is the big, big, big police station. Rops is one. Big sports hall and big pub here because this is gonna be a lot of high rises. Hospital is already built. Big one here. It's only half of the capacity, but I think I'm gonna need school as well. So let's see the uh, schools. Wow, I only have two schools. That's interesting. Uh, nothing is covering this and nothing is covering this. I am pretty sure that people uh, go that need to go to school, they go to the uh, bus station and then walk to the school. But I think our capacities are going to be uh, stretched. Let's go with stretched. Um, I will be upgrading this to city style road or the something like this. Oh wow, in one go. That's nice. <clears throat> Let them upgrade this. They can they can take a bypass this way. And this is the end of the city, but I would like to start putting some infrastructure here, like for example schools, because if I put a school over here, let me see if this is gonna show now. If I put a school here, yeah, you can see the range it will have, the coverage. And the most important thing is to cover this south. That would be map. Uh, that would be uh, north northeastern part of the city. So this is how the city should look. Uh, this is north northeastern part of the city. And if we build it and connect it to this uh, footpath, this school will have great range. And I okay, I did put separation of of waste here. That that's nice. So yeah, this is what I'm gonna do next. I'm gonna build school for them, but I need to upgrade this road. I can put school here, but I'm still thinking that we, that this place is better served as the uh, residential area and school somewhere here a little bit further from the station. And this here is also kept free for the uh, for the residential areas, uh, or, or maybe if we need something else, but um, residential areas. Okay, so uh, financially uh, we need to cover that. Citizens' loyalty seems to be low. That, that's all gonna change. Already 55 to 57 percent increase in happiness. Uh, health is 49 uh, percent. Some more people are living here now, but that's fine. We, we, we just created or, or built a lot of residential areas, uh, which is great. Uh, there was like five, six buildings that uh, needed to be finished. I, I removed some of the heating plants from here and uh, build a couple of residential buildings, but uh, that, that's for the future, you know, planning for the future. Again, police station. And here I'm building the vehicle recycling because I'm already having 100% damaged vehicles, which is kind of surprising because this dumper truck here is only seven and a half years old and it's already 100% damaged, which is surprising. 
Uh, I thought that they're gonna be repairing stuff more actively. Uh, like this one here, that's the one, and then we have this one here. This is 75% and it's eight and a half years old and it, I think it can be repaired. Some of them are like 65%. Uh, they're all more or less the same age, but um, for some reason this one is not functional anymore. Uh, and they're being used randomly, so I'm pretty sure it's balanced usage of the vehicles. Anyway, uh, flats to be finished. I don't want to do that. The roads, a lot of a lot of roads. Now I'm building this uh, farming, new farming area. This is going to be asphalt roads because people are going to be coming here from the city center. Actually... I think I should be upgrading this as well. Um, you know what? I don't have the dumper trucks free, so I'm going to skip when we have it. So I build these roads and also parallel mud roads so they can be built at the same time. And you can see here that uh, they're just spreading out in all directions. So uh, a lot of a lot of gravel needs to come here to finish these roads. Asphalt will go to around here, the bus station. The delivering workers will go in this area. And we have one, two, and three buildings that uh, need workers. Nothing else needs workers. And I'm pretty sure this is going to be in, in the walking range for our people who are going to go to work. I need to build a road to this farm here and I need to well, just build sidewalks to this farm. Now a lot of other infrastructure is missing. Uh, water is being delivered. Oh, I did not connect this. That's unfortunate. Let's do it now. This is built as I would like it to. Uh, so this is uh, water being delivered to here. That's going to be drinkable water. Uh, do they have any of the buildings require connections? Not really, so that's okay. Um, I don't want to build the infrastructure here because I don't have footpath to connect it to. So I'm going to build the roads first. This is for the next year farming anyway, so it doesn't really matter that much. I can make an um, outside fuel station if needed. Uh, and I am already building the meat export it's already built eight vehicles for meat exports this is going to be exporting everything over let's say 10 percent of meat that is stored here uh what did i do what didn't i talk about here i did not talk about the finances so let's cover the finances currently we owe four million one of the loans that was 4.1 percent was fully paid off the second one is going to be paid off in two and a half months or so just under three months um, and currently we owe uh, 2.1 million rubles uh, to the banks on the loans that are 4 million rubles in the value so yeah I think we're doing pretty good I I'm, I'm happy how we're doing here so yeah um, this is the update of the state what's happening so I'm building some pubs for the people in the new parts of the city some uh, sports halls new police station because I have a feeling that that's gonna be required soon enough uh, this one is not really running at capacity because I didn't see any backlog of anything nothing jails are fine because the 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 low capacity or volume of people in there so not a big like they're they're being rotated fast enough the prisoners so that's not a problem do we have a prison bus coming here prison bus where are you going prison bus uh right this is exactly what i wanted to do here but it's not being done how come well i never saw people actually here so let's see the, where the bus is Okay, it's taking four prisoners. Why are you going from here and where are you going? You're going from that prison all the way there and you're taking this path? That is kind of surprising. Did they upgrade the roads or something? Not yet. Anyway, anyway, um, I'm gonna let him be. Uh, I don't know why he's going that way. Maybe he was going for a repair or something. But yeah, the, this new repair station here that is managing the food exports repairs, the new big distribution office. Actually, I, d I don't know why I want this one. This is chemical fertilizer distribution. I'm gonna have to build. Uh, I'm gonna have to build a connection to it, like like a so. Uh, is this long enough to be automatically built? Yes. 
but I don't know if this is close enough uh, or I'm gonna have to assign them because this is pretty much far away. Uh, I'm gonna have to build this one more of these uh, bad boys, this combination of the construction offices over here because this is gonna be required for the further expansion. Maybe f closer to Vast Varstok? Varstok is gonna be a village, it's gonna be like this. I'm gonna have to plan this and start. Uh, we'll see about the houses. Church is obviously gonna stay and the rest of them probably gonna have to remove all the buildings because I don't think they are in a good condition. But yeah, anyway, this is Varstok is gonna stay and we're gonna rebuild the whole Varstok camp. 30 minutes into this episode, the aim for me to do, to be here, is 30 minutes, but uh, let's continue a little bit further <clears throat> and just double check some of the stuff that we're doing. I'm gonna increase the number of workers working in these uh, buildings. Let's see how they're doing, uh, how they're filling up the apartments. Let's go and check how many available apartments we have. Most of them would be in the new buildings, 110, 112. 9 and 12, that would be 221, and then we have 335, 335, uh, 346, and then we have uh, just a small numbers, 1, 1, I think there was another 1 there, and 2 here, yeah, that's like 400 people can now be... Um, housed in these uh, residential areas that that's really nice number plus we have several of them ready to be finished or constructed further and two of them that are being planned still i think footpaths need to be finished first before we uh, do anything else so this one is done with the groundwork and materials this one is ready to be uh, finished but um in due time in due time and then we have the, like I said, scrapping facility, which I think I wanted to experiment a little bit more with it in a way that I wanted to build the storage for I have no idea what. Storage, because this scrapping facility is... Let me just rotate it in this direction. Um, Like this, and then, like this, and then I need metal. I think it's a metal scrap one that we need. Yeah, I'm not doing it with this one. Let's see what else do we have. Metal scrap. We can we can do go big or go home. We can go for this 1,000 ton. Quote, and quote vanilla, my rear end. Not really vanilla, this is Rob's one uh, that um, 3 Division obviously acquired legally this time. But uh, yeah, I sure can do this. It's gonna have electricity soon enough anyway, so this is where we can uh, keep the metal scrap. My worry is this, uh, I had a problem with storing this previously. So I'm gonna try to do a little bit better job this time and putting an engine in between and connecting this to footpath to see how this is gonna be dissolving the uh, sorry dissolving the the transferring the metals uh, into the storage. Okay, anything else? I don't, I don't think anything else is a problem here. Uh, I need to see the people being returned. So we need to have more people uh, here, and yeah, okay. So financially, let's let's cover one more, uh, not one more time, but let's cover the financial situation. Uh, so financially, uh, in the last couple of months, let's go, let's go this year. This year, financially, we are plus seventy-five thousand rubles, and that's with loans and all, and we are still extremely low unemployment, uh, low education, small child. That would be. I don't even think this small child is a thing because I think we have kindergarten coverage. Maybe not of everything though. So maybe kindergarten is something that we need as well here. The kindergarten next to a pub. I, I, I don't see any problem with that. I'm thinking that maybe I should develop the... How far are you from this being finished? Ah, right, okay. Uh, dumper trucks and transports. Chop, chop. Go, go, finish it. 
Uh, I, I'm thinking where to put schools. I was kind of trying to finish this part of the city uh, just because it's closest to the heating plant, to the pollution. So I wanted to kind of board off, wall off this part of the city for people and put something that doesn't absorb the pollution, like uh, kindergarten schools, orphanages, which are slowly filling up. Uh, <clears throat> so yeah, uh, uh, orphanage, as you can see here, 25 out of 45 people working. We have 69 people uh, or kids in the orphanage. Uh, government loyalty, I said it is pretty high, so uh, they should have good propaganda engraved. Well, 12% straight away from the get-go. But yeah, I think still, I still think we need uh, schools over here, so I, I wanted to put school on this road because from here it looks like it can cover the whole new area but obviously the the second thing i'm gonna need here is definitely a kindergarten and i could have done better job planning this so let's do the uh, last thing in this episode 500 kids that's a little bit too much let's go with this one uh, let's go with this one uh, school and then kindergarten 180 medium school medium kindergarten i think that's fair like this and then let's go and build like this yeah so kids can uh, access the the pubs and stuff there we go and uh, it should have access to these as well but um let me try this way I think I think that's it for now. I need monuments. I'm gonna do that off screen. I did uh, build uh, the worker here, the builder monument. Uh, I did uh, try to build Zhuko. I wanted to build Zhuko. I think it would be perfect if you put in the city center the, the independence monument from uh, from um, the uh, Ukraine, from Kiev, and next to that Zhukov. That would be a good friendship combination. Or maybe even Lenin would be the best. Lenin, Tito, no, Tito should be in the in the center. Or just provoke everybody and put huge Stalin. Maybe that's Lenin. Huge Stalin. This is uh, large, extra large. Yeah, Tito. We need Tito. Yeah, probably Tito would be the best. That's my favorite. Anyway, I'm going to leave it here. This is already too long. 37 minutes is going to be by the end of this episode. Oh, no. Ah, okay, it's just a substation. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, press the like button. If you didn't, leave a nasty comment in the comment section. Let me know what you think. Uh, like, subscribe, notification bell. Ring it. Comment section. Hit it. And if you want to support the channel, I have the description of the video. Thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.